playing more ball, so I need. No. What is dead baby doing right now? Man, Jean Tuer! Who wants a fucking pump? I'm mounting the fuck over now. Ah. Motherfuckers are jumping around the corner. Dude, I'm actually sick of these guys. Oh, a random Dude. stick. I really, I really do think that I w would rather crush my balls between a 10 ton door than ever play against this fucking mini kid again. I hate him. I hate him. Dude, I bet you would get the same feeling and the same amount of work done with half the amount of tons. Yeah. I got a 5 ton equal amount of damage. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it doesn't God, matter. You guys fucking I'm... blow. Holy shit, that's crazy. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, you Dude, you said, yo, yeah, lick my nuts, yeah, bitch. Yeah, lick my nuts, yeah, bitch. Yeah, lick them. Yeah, I'm gonna drag them across your mama's face tonight, bitch. Why well, is one to talk about somebody's mama? Do you not have a mom? Are you loved at home? Are you loved? Are you loved at home? Does she give you a good night kissy? No, shut the fuck up. You hear them, man, bro? <laughs> What the? Hey there. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm, so I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking yeah. It's just nothing. I... Hey guys, here with another video, Bobby FPS. Uh, before we do get in the video, I just want to let you guys know I do stream on Twitch. I'll put the link down below and uh, consider stopping by or dropping a like uh, or following. Excuse me, it mean a lot, and I would appreciate it. So besides that, let's jump into the video. Uh, let's talk about Call of Duty. In the last video, I was uh, maybe a little too harsh on the game, but uh, I had, you know, I had a point, I had a reason for it. It is just, um, though I love playing Call of, Duty, Call of Duty, I'm just frustrated with Infinity Ward. It's always the same thing, you know, 2019 to 2022, I'm still dealing with the same issues, spawns. You know, if you want to watch that video, I'll link it, or I'll put a play card, or whatever, somewhere around here on the top, but, um, and I assume... All the problems that were in Warzone 1 will be the same thing in Warzone 2, and it's going to take a few months, maybe a year, until people actually enjoy playing Warzone 2, just like how it kind of the trend followed with Warzone. Uh, it was good in the beginning. People got really burnt, didn't play it for like six, six months, and then at the end here, when the Act Infinity Ward was actually doing everything the community wanted, people were playing it. So I'm, I am open to new changes and I'm open to innovation. You know, like the, uh, a prime example is the new gunsmith or weapon system unlock progression. I'm okay with that. I'm open to it. I don't want to bash it because obviously I haven't put enough time to completely give my opinion on it. I think I'm okay. Like I said, I'm okay with them doing innovation and changing it. Playing, you know, that M4 build, playing an M4 and then getting the whatever to level 20 to unlock the the recon or whatever and then from the recon to the fss hurricane i'm okay with that i'm open to it it's a little different it, it is not as grindy which kind of nice especially you know with life being crazy and just being busy with you know other things i'm kind of okay with that change but i'm not okay with spawn still being dog shit the audio is way too loud like you can just I can hear someone across the map like there needs to be a fine balance and it seems like infinity wards not really listening so i'm frustrated about that um but this video is going to be on a more positive note and we're going to be talking about the good things the good changes um the things i really liked when i was playing call of duty 2022 first off is going to be movement movement actually felt really nice you know running sliding it felt nice i really can't complain um the animations i the little details when you're inspecting your weapons are beautiful. For the Glock uh, 19, I believe, that, but I think it's called the X5 or whatever, when it when he does the slide, pulls the slide to check if there's a round in it, and he hits it back to go into battery. I th thought that was a very nice detail, because sometimes the slide will get stuck on the round, so you just punch the back of the slide to make sure it goes into battery. They were paying attention. They are paying attention to the little details, and it definitely showed. Uh, slide canceling, I really never cared for it, cared for it, but it seems like the community did, and they were happy about it. Um, third person, when I I didn't I don't have any gameplay of the third person gameplay I was playing, 
or third person gameplay but when i was playing it was actually kind of fun it was different you know when you get frustrated of uh, first person i felt like third person change of scenery i know i believe they did it in cod 4 or mw2 i'm not sure but it was a good time and i really can't complain about it especially when it's a little just a change of scenery another great change that's coming into console players is the fov slider which is fantastic i know I believe, excuse me, that they had FOV sliders briefly in Vanguard and Cold War, and then just regarding, you know, because their consoles, they couldn't push it out because of hardware capabilities. So uh, I know now the FOV slider is going to be available on all consoles, I believe, if I remember reading that correctly. And I think that is awesome. Just to increase the skill gap and people can play on a higher FOV, just like us PC players. So I think that is really awesome. Another thing that's coming out in Call of Duty would. Another thing that Call of Duty 2022 did very well is there's less doors. I remember in 2019, I would run into about five doors before I could flank the enemy. And it was annoying because obviously Infinity Ward likes to make noises very loud, sound very loud. And uh, I would just obviously get post, someone would post up, mounted, and they'd shit on me when I was trying to flank. In 2022, think about it. How many doors did you actually go through? I don't recall going through too many doors because there's windows balconies stuff like that you can climb ladders uh, i thought that was a really great change they did and uh made it a lot easier to do flanks and you know out outgun the enemy uh, another thing that i really liked was i think i mentioned it briefly was prior was the maps were good the only thing they really needed to do is you know lift up the brightness and some of the really dark areas and like some hallways i would just lose the enemy because they were obviously wearing like they're wearing a black uniform so it's obviously very hard to see them in a black hallway so i think if they would just put some light in there and just up the brightness there i think that would be another fantastic change uh though you know call of duty's formula is you know three lanes per map it really didn't feel like that it didn't feel like just hold w and you, you get shit shit on on this choke point um I felt like there's a lot more options. There's a lot more going underneath, going uh, climbing on uh, the roof, climbing up, whatever. Uh, but it was still like that three lane, but there's a lot more. There wasn't always a gunfight at the same location, like a, a choke point, which I thought was really nice. Um, there were different gunfights, like especially on that uh, farm 18, I believe. I had quite a few gunfights underneath in the um, basement, which was really awesome just to experience that. So, and then lastly the dolphin dive is back like if you remember playing black ops 2 that that was the movement was just dolphin diving everywhere uh i don't know how well it's gonna play out with like actually of avoiding gunshots i think you're gonna get mowed down just dolphin diving but goddamn is it fun i remember black ops 2 just dolphin diving everywhere and it was a good time so um infinity war kind of spoiled us with giving us a dolphin dive and the uh slide running slide canceling whatever you want slide running yep so um that is going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoy this take hopefully it was a lot more positive i hate being like negative about that um uh, that last video but it was just so frustrating dealing with all the bullshit but uh i'm very excited for this call of duty uh, i can't wait until november 27th i believe it is so um besides that if you enjoy the video consider liking subbing sharing as always and i'll see you guys in the next video